Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to remote control your Raspberry Pi as if you were sitting in front of it. So let's get started. So guys, there are many ways to control your Raspberry Pi, and I've seen people using XRDP or uh, VNC server, those of which requires you to open a session which won't take control of your screen itself. So the method I'm going to be using is actually hijacking the console session like you were sitting in front of the Pi. Alright, so one of the things that you're going to need for a Windows computer is something called a VNC viewer. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below to show you where you can get it. So download the latest version and it runs like a portable edition so you don't have to install anything. Now I already downloaded it so I'm not going to go through this step. Now next we're going to have to navigate over to our Raspberry Pi. Now I'm already using this type of session but I'm going to show you what I have to do to get this working. Now, once you access the terminal, obviously do a sudo apt-get update to update your repository. And once you're done with that, you can move over to getting the packages that you need for installing this remote desktop console version. Alright, so the next step is sudo apt-get install vino and dfconfig. DF config editor. And again, I already have this installed, so it's not going to prompt that I need to install it. Once you're done with this step, you navigate over to System Tools Dconfig Editor. Shoot over to org. This is like uh, if you're familiar with Windows Registry, this is similar to Windows Registry. So head over to org, GNOME or GNOME, however people say it, desktop remote access and this option you should have a few options that you need to check off you need to un uncheck prompt enable and unchecked required encryption everything else you can leave as default and as soon as you uncheck them it sets it right away so there's no apply or anything once you're done closing out that the most important step is to make sure that Vino automatically starts with your session so Assuming that you already have Pi to automatically connect to a desktop, um, we're going to put an auto start. So to do that, we cd into config. And then if you don't have the folder called auto start, you're going to have to make dir auto start. Now in there, cd auto start, you have to make a file called vino.desktop. Okay, now I'm just going to nano into it and you could do the same thing, nano vino.desktop and here are the contents of the file. I will actually leave this in the description below so you could just copy and paste it. But this basically says uh, on auto startup execute this application called vino server. Now, as soon as you're done, reboot the Pi. Alright, so at your desktop all you need to do is run VNC viewer, pop in the IP address of your Pi, hit connect, I'll ask you for this in unencrypted connection, hit continue, and there you have your access to your Pi. So here, if you notice, on the left side is my physical Raspberry Pi, and then on the right side is my desktop for my computer. And if you take a look, I can minimize this, and you can see that I have my screen going on. Now if I control this side, it will actually move my console over there, and everything else with it. So it will be like if I'm physically in front of the computer. So thanks for watching my video guys, hope you enjoyed that. And I've been asked a few times on how I remote control my Raspberry Pi, so I decided that I could put that to rest now with this video. Now, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot, gives you notification on when the next video is going to be out. And as I say my nerd cave, hacktail it hurts.